allow us to have a certain power. It shows an affection for somebody, and it shows either how much we know or don't know somebody. But guess you are not a replacement for human connection and human understanding. As a ghost hunter, I realize this because I have to talk to people a lot about their dead ghosts. And I have to talk to ghosts a lot about their lives. So gifts have a lot of power. And if you give a bad gift, that's going to haunt somebody worse than any ghost, worse than I could ever do. If you give them a great gift, they'll remember it for a minute. And then expect something better next year. Gifts are dangerous. Gifts are risky. But above all else, think with your head, think with your heart, and think, what would this person truly like? What would they appreciate? That's the best way to do gifts, I find. Think about what the person wants most. All right, let's switch over to ghost stories on Reddit. So once again, this is Reddit, our ghost stories. So we're going to read them, or I'm going to read them, and we will decide if they are true, false, or a little bit silly. All right, first one. Girlfriend and I just witnessed a ghost. Bracket, real. Again, when someone puts real, my hair is insane. Get in there. Don't get stolen by ghosts. When someone puts bracket real, that concerns me greatly as a medium. Because real, if you really try to push a ghost story, you shouldn't have to say it's real. We should just believe you. You'll know. Anyway, my girlfriend and I were laying in bed watching Lightyear movie. Bracket, I just got Disney Plus. Thanks for sharing. We don't need to know that you got Disney Plus. This is from... Some dude. Poor. Anyway, when in the middle of the movie, we both suddenly felt icy cold air. Our place is not drafty. Seconds later, my key fob starts beeping. It's a find your key fob that you press the button on the base and it beeps. She just got it for me for Christmas. That's a good gift. Speaking of gifts, the key fob went off on the side of my bed where the icy cold air was. The best, the base station is in the kitchen. The apartment is empty. No one was there. Kitchen was empty. Did we witness a ghost? What should we do? No. Okay. This is not a ghost. This is a cold air breeze. They come, they happen. You know, sometimes when you sneeze a little too much, a little good bit of cold air comes out. I do not think this is a ghost. I think there is probably a draft that you've never experienced before and you've just found it. And the fog could easily be related to battery issues or perhaps the cold destroyed it. We don't know. It doesn't feel like a ghost though. Not in the slightest.